Hello everyone and welcome to the next video of GREH. Today we will be looking at a roadblock faced by most of the GRE test takers, the RC questions. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more updates related to admissions and GRE. In each of the two verbal sections on the exam, you can expect 10 to 11 questions from 5 to 7 RC passages, which means RC questions will always make up for roughly half of your verbal section. Thus, getting it just right is imperative if you want a high score. This unfortunately leads to a lot of students opting for shortcuts to try and ace their way through. Well, we at GRE Edge have realized that the tricks to solve RC passages lies not in the online shortcuts but in a more scientific and tested method. We have narrowed it down to two major aspects, understanding the RC passages and answering the questions. Let's start with understanding RC passages. It's obvious, to be able to solve something, you must first grasp what it really is. For example, you cannot solve geometry questions without learning about different shapes. Thus, to understand RCs, we must first talk about three components that constitute them. They are ideas in the passage, types of sentences, key concept of the passage. Let's dive a little deeper now. Ideas in the passage. First up, we need to understand that there are two types of ideas, namely explicit and implicit. Explicit ideas, as the name suggests, are the straightforward ideas that are directly discussed by the author. They are usually easy to understand However, a student can face difficulties when these statements are long and complex. Let's look at an example. To solve these long and complex statements, you must break them down into smaller segments to understand the entire idea carefully. Taking the previous sentence and breaking it down into three parts. Fiscal year plan for the year 2020 to 2021 was announced. The plan had benefits for the upper class, but it bombarded the middle class sector with high tax labs and no benefits. Next up is implicit main ideas. They are more subtle in nature, hiding their true meaning behind layered language and indirect statements. These characteristically use the techniques such as idioms, hidden facts or sarcasm to convey their context. For example, read the given passage and find out the main idea. Here the author does not say forthright what his main argument is. Instead, he describes the situation and provides an example to convey the predicament we are in. From this, we are able to derive the implicit meaning to get the main idea. The main idea in this passage is to convey the difficult situation that we are in with the machines taking over jobs. This is the basis of analytical reading and will help you in answering inferential and critical reasoning questions in the GRE. And hey, if you are struggling with critical reasoning questions in the GRE Verbal, download our free ebook on sample critical reasoning questions with explanation to help you for the same. Having understood ideas, let's move on to the different kind of statements you are likely to encounter in RC passages. There are two primary types, thesis statement and support statement. Much like ideas, the thesis statement also lay down the groundwork for your RC passage. The thesis statement usually are the author's opinion, view or belief, a strong assertive statement in the passage, a strong opening or concluding statement, a new or novel idea, a critical observation and a note of warning from the author. Conversely, the support statement will lend evidence or follow up the thesis statements with facts to validate the claim made. Let's look at a comprehensive example and see if you can spot thesis statement and support statement. Ready? You can pause the screen and read the passage thoroughly. Here is the same passage with the thesis statement marked in red 
and the support statement marked in blue. How many did you get right? Let us know in the comment section below. As you can see, the thesis statement Canada is desirable is the author's opinion, view or belief positioned as a strong opening and concluding statement. The support statements marked in blue give evidence to validate the author's perspective. This brings us to the last aspect of understanding RC type questions. To understand the key concepts of RC passage, you need to have executed point 1 and 2 firmly. The main idea along with the thesis statement reveal the purpose of the passage. A common misconception is that the longer the passage, the more number of concepts it contains. But that couldn't be farther from the truth. More often than not, RC passages that are apparently long only contain a handful of concepts, rest being the details and the supporting sentences. Let's look at the same example here. You can pause the screen and read the passage thoroughly. In this passage, we see that the author talks about four ideas. Manual worker in advanced countries have found alternate employment. Will this trend continue since artificial intelligence is increasingly being used to do most of the mundane jobs? Example of how such automation led to a revolution in 1811 is provided. Even after two centuries, this predicament persists. The primary motive of the author here is to convey the difficult situation we are in with the machines taking over jobs. These descriptions for the support sentences help bring out the key concept. This brings us to the second half of how to tackle the RCs answering the questions. To accurately answer RC questions, it is important to polish your reading skills. A vital tool in your RC arsenal, there are four major reading styles that any competent test taker should be well versed with. Skimming, Scanning, Specific and Detailed. We can start with skimming and scanning the passage first to get familiar with the ideas presented and the flow. This is where you'll get an overview of the main idea and the supporting idea of the passage. But sometimes, even after skimming and scanning the passage, you might get stuck in one specific question. Here is when you can use the specific reading style to find the precise answer. This requires back and forth between what the question is asking you and where in the passage the answer is hidden. Next up is detailed reading, which should be reserved as a last option. If you are unable to find the answers through skimming or specific reading, then a detailed and in-depth look is necessary. While this form of reading has the best results, it is also the most painstaking and time-consuming. Thus, we recommend you to use this tedious option once you complete your entire section and have time to come back to the questions you left. You can see how by using these reading approaches in a smart and effective manner, you can solve any RC passage with ease. Adopting these techniques will help sharpen your RC skills but to perfect your reading comprehension, check out our ultimate guide to solve RCs. Also, to crack the central theme of the RCs, check out our free ebook on how to crack the central theme of the passage. The links are in the description below. And hey, since you have understood on how to go about GRA reading comprehensions, go through this passage and tell us what the main idea is in the comment section below. We hope you liked the video and learned something important. Hit the like button and subscribe for more such content coming your way. Until then, this is Vashwati signing off. Happy learning!